Hi Leo, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your weekly reading for October 19th to the 25th. I'm going to pull cards from the tarot. Feel free to fast forward because I like to have the cards jump out or flop or whatever on their own. I'm going to pull three love decks and maybe a few others. Let's see what we get. Spirit guides, can we please get a reading for Leo? What does Leo need to know for October 19th to the 25th? What does Leo need to know? Sorry, I'm going to pause this because I have to refill that candle with a little bit more coconut oil before it runs out. I have more readings to do and I just forgot. One second. And we're back. Sorry about that. All right, let's go back into the shuffle. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For October 19th to the 25th. Spirit Guides, can we please get a reading for Leo? What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know for October 19th to the 25th? What does Leo need to know for October 19th? To the What messages are there for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 19th to the 25th, please? What messages are there for Leo, October 19th to the 25th? Almost. What messages are there for Leo, October 19th to the 25th? What does Leo need to know? Messages are there for Leo, October 19th to the 25th. What does Leo need to know? Wow. Usually the cards really do pop out by now. There we go. Nine of Pentacles, comfort, independence, three of swords, heartbreak. You're doing okay, financially stable. This is a card of being able to do for yourself. This is a card of being single as well. And there is the Bird of Spirit, usually with the Rider weight decks, uh, that shows that there's a call for maybe not just taking care of yourself well, but now maybe ready for marriage, kids, or more responsibilities in terms of how you are able to take care of yourself and others. Three of Swords, it says heartbreak. Now that can come up from a breakup, some kind of loss, emotional loss, upset. Um, it even comes up for jealousy. So let's see. What else? What else? Maybe you currently went through a breakup. The Moon, misinterpretation. This is a secret being revealed. Death. Okay. Walking away. Eight of Cups. That's an ending. Ending. Change. Cycles. Misinterpretation. Maybe something was misinterpreted. Maybe something was taken wrong. Moon card. Can speak to mother energy. Their subconscious. Dreams being affected. Very psychic, intuitive energy. But really it comes up for when... Something is revealed as well, like things that are hidden in the dark. Death card, Scorpio energy, but really, again, it speaks to release and ending and a new beginning. So it looks like it looks like a breakup. Something changed, was misunderstood, crossroads. Yeah, there was a choice to be made. It was a crossroads. Yeah, choosing you, choosing yourself. There's distraction before. 
The star card is inspiration, working towards your own goals, what you really, what your heart desires, and being able to wait. Uh, here it shows her peacefully, you know, pouring the water into the water. Uh, here it looks like space. In the Rider weight, it shows a river, a stream. And this card comes up for being able to plug away at something, to keep dreaming and working towards your dreams. And there's something that you really want, that you have all the patience to pursue. It's like you want the right person. You're willing to wait for the right person. There was a crossroads, a choice that needed to be made. Two of swords. What are those two choices? It could be choosing you or choosing to be in a relationship with someone that you might feel like you were settling. Or it could be, you know, any two options, career or love or whatever, or just you being single or being in a relationship. Any way you slice it, two of swords, there was a choice being pulled in two different directions. And instead choosing to go after what it is you really want. Judgment there's on the bottom. I don't even know how I came to that. That's just a wake-up call. All right, let's see. Let's pull some love decks. So this looks like you just went through a breakup. All right, so we got Amira Ceylon's Love Oracle. Spirit Guides, can we get a card, a message for Leo? Is it Leo? Yep. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 19th to the 25th for Leo. What love messages are there for Leo? And the moon can speak to depression. Feeling alone, staying up late at night, a lot of dreams, moodiness, emotional. It's all that subconscious energy, that mother energy, intuition, psychic, all of that. You see, both of these are very cool, cold, dark, lonely type of energy. All right, any other messages, please? Any other messages for love messages for Leo for 19th to the 25th of October? What love messages are there for Leo? Okay, we got two. Nice, thank you so much. Triangle, passion. So there's more than one person involved in this reading, okay? It's a love triangle and somebody, a passion is, can be interpreted in different ways. It's like one person Look, this looks like a different person. This heartbreak. Right? This heartbreak. So love triangle. But however this plays out, whether it was you who cheated or they cheated or it's a love triangle. There was too many people involved. And it looks like it was a physical passion connection. Passion also comes up for that wands energy. What inspires you? Hobbies. What you like to do in your spare time. Your passions. But here it looks like love triangle. Somehow blowing up. This is Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. Look at this. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And one person is not even trying to hear it. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So someone from your past. It looks like you might, you might already have somebody new. Returning into your life. Or who, who you considered in the past. People are complicated. Love lives are complicated. You could have just broken up with someone and then, you know, somebody else who's been waiting for you to break up might be in the wings. At the same time, the person you were with might have stepped out as well. Who knows? But heart to heart conversations is saying, you guys need to tell the truth and be honest with each other. And reconciliation, someone from your past, doesn't mean you're going to get back together. It's saying that there's going to be some kind of peace made. At least you tried. And you could get back together. Or you maybe won't. But either way, there's making peace with someone from your past. This is Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. Any other messages for Leo, please? I'm going to take those three. These flop two. I know you guys want to see it, so I'll show you. New love. 
Embrace this new opportunity of love that's here. This may pertain to work, opportunities, or spiritual growth. I love you. These are very important words. Look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. And look at this woman with the harp. And the spirit guide is saying, look in the mirror. Meanwhile, she's complaining. Oh, why does this always happen to me? And so on. True love. This love is a once in a lifetime love. So it was true love. And now you just pooped. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. There's this dragon that she's talking to. And love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things life has to offer. So that was all there. Be willing to express love. I'm going to take the ones that dropped. Just wanted to show it for those who want to still see. Spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. The only thing that is real is love and there's children. So you might, ha you might have kids with this person. You might have, they might have children. You might have children. I feel like this is more for you. Kids holding hands and, you know, the world. And there's a chain that links these two hands. A spiritual connection. Okay, so now I'm going to pull a fashion oracle card to keep it light. They've been wanting to come out and play, so I'm going to use them. There's an art oracle deck and a fashion oracle deck and all these different decks. I have the art and the fashion ones. I couldn't resist. Because sometimes for the dailies, I just wanted to keep it light. Way back when I started the channel. So these are weeklies, but still, it's a nice morning coffee type of vibe. What do we have here for Leo, please? What do we have? There we go. Thank you. Tom Ford. Good girls dress well, but bad girls undress better. Every woman needs a little black dress. Always exceed your own expectations. And here we have a love triangle as well. Got a man with two women. And do you see there's the blonde and the brunette with the guy with the dark hair in the middle. And what do we see here? Same hairdo. Same hairdo. <laughs> and the brunette. And the blonde. There we go. On the bottom, we've got Ray Kawakubo. Be a work of art. Make shape your statement. Never compromise. Energize. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to end it with one spiritual guidance because you're going through something heartbreaking, sad. So let's just give some beautiful, strong African goddess spiritual guidance here. I love this deck by Abiola Abrams. Beautiful goddesses, can we please give one last oracle message here for Leo? What does Leo need to know? What do they, there we go. Thank you. Ooh, Tanit, pleasure. Makes sense because it's falling on the love triangle. Indulging. This is uh, feeling good, wanting to feel good, telling yourself you deserve to feel good. Enjoying, okay. And then Sarah Lakali, Divine Lineage. And Seven Sisters, Creativity. And on the bottom we've got Oshun, Fearless Love. Which is on the deck. So let's see. I'm going to put these goddesses on pedestals here. We will pick the pair for Goddess Tanit. We will pick... The light bulb for Sarah Lakali. Uh -huh. And let's get them all on camera. And Seven Sisters. I have one more. I have this piece dove. Does that fit? I hope. Okay. So let's read Sarah Lakali. These are short. To the point. Goddess of Divine Lineage, Romani from Egypt, Temple Ancestors, Element Water. Great Ancestress Sarah, Sarah Lakali, meaning Sarah the Black, was an Egyptian prophetess and the patron saint of the Romani people. Oral history says that Saint Sarah had the highest divine lineage. 
her guidance. Your ancestors protect the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is you. Divine ones walk beside and within you. Trust. Embodiment. Your ancestors want to remind you that you are not alone. They are rooting for you. They ask you to honor your spirit guides and call upon the power of the divine. Create or nourish your ancestral altar or shrine. Unbury your ancestors. Speak their names. Your divine lineage ancestors may be blood-related or culturally or spiritually connected. Goddess declaration, I am my sister and my sister is me. So it's saying to connect with your ancestors. Unbury them. May be blood related or culturally or spiritually connected. And that they are all there to help you. They're always with you. You're not alone. All right. Goddess Tanit, goddess of pleasure, Tunisia, temple conjurers, element air. Tanit was the goddess of the stars in ancient Carthage. Today, all the way over in Ibiza, they still have pleasure filled full moon, midnight table dancing parties in her name. Her guidance. You are thirsty for more pleasure. You can't thrive when life feels dry. You're made of laughter and stardust, not sawdust. Pleasure is your birthright, a gift from the universe. Embodiment. How much juicy pleasure can you stand? Turn up the pleasure principle. You secretly feel you don't deserve it, but pleasure is a healing and manifesting force. Laughing, loving, and orgasmic joy is holy. Hold your hands over your reproductive area and say aloud, I deserve pleasure. Goddess declaration, it feels good to feel good. And then we got number 12, seven sisters, goddess of creativity, New Orleans, temple conjurers, element air. The seven sisters were a mystical Nolens family of identical master physics and conjure women who never aged, but were they? Were the seven sisters one shape-shifting woman or seven? Time will never tell. Their guidance, create, create, create. You come from conjurers and creators. Your blood remembers. Use your gifts to multiply your magic. You are cosmic creatrix and creative force. Embodiment, you're a divine nation within one person. How creative do you allow yourself to be? Break out of your comfort zone and into your creative fertility. You have the power that creates planets. So yes, you are creative. No one else's opinion matters here. Let your inner child play to awaken your creativity. Creating is birthing, is manifesting. Goddess declaration, I am a creative visionary. Thank you, goddesses. Leo, that was your reading for the 19th to the 25th. I'll see you for next week's readings. Thanks for watching. Bye.